In this video I will be making Prussian Blue, which was one of the first synthetic pigments to ever be mass produced. The pigment is most often used in paints, and it is the traditional blue in blueprints. A surprising use of Prussian Blue is its use in medicine. Orally administered Prussian Blue is an antidote to certain heavy metal poisonings. Its more antique use is in batteries and in analytical chemistry, but it was mostly phased out. I've been wanting to make this video for a while because, well, my channel is called Prussian Blue, and because it's going to be the first of many regarding my journey of exploring synthetic pigments. The next video I'll be making is going to be on Malvin, which is an another synthetic pigment, and actually a viewer's suggestion. Prussian blue is most commonly made from oxidizing ferrocyanide ions with iron-free ions. Sodium cyanide can also be used in the reaction, but cyanide is, well, cyanide, the alternative. The ferrocyanide may sound toxic, but trust me, it's not, since the iron bonds the cyanide groups very tightly, making them harmless. Okay, so to begin, I've had to turn some iron into iron to chloride. To do this, to a 600 ml beaker, I've added a bunch of steel nails. Next I've added some concentrated hydrochloric acid. And lastly some hydrogen peroxide. What's happening here is a single displacement reaction with iron and hydrogen, where hydrogen is reduced and iron is oxidized. There's an excess of iron so the acid will be depleted and the nails will be filtered off which will leave us with a decently pure solution of iron to chloride. Decently pure because there may be some metals like zinc or aluminum dissolved in the solution because nails aren't a very high grade source of iron. So I've let the acid do its thing for 24 hours and I went to play some Fortnite. Next day you can see the green in the solution, which means we have iron ions present. Next I filtered the solution to get rid of the insoluble stuff and the nails. After the filtration is done I started adding hydrogen peroxide. The peroxide starts oxidizing the iron to ions to iron free, which leaves us with an orange solution. Now we've got a solution of iron free chloride, which will let us make Prussian blue. I've put the flask aside and to a new one I've added 100 ml of water and then dissolved some orange potassium ferrocyanide in it. Next I started adding the iron free solution from before drop ice and started producing a blue precipitate which is our Prussian blue. After the beaker was cloudy and you couldn't really see anything, I've just dumped most of the solution into it and after a while you can see the beautiful color of Prussian blue. I've swirled the solution a little and as you can see the green color of the residue starts changing into blue and I'm not really sure why, but I bet that it's just because the water is evaporating, leaving more Prussian blue on the surface. Next, I've set up a gravity filtration apparatus. This method of filtering was really slow and it wasn't really worth it, so I've just tried to vacuum filter it. A vacuum filtration was way faster and it could also dry our Prussian blue better. After it has finished, I started scooping up the Prussian blue from the filter. As you can see, the pigment is still a little wet, but that's really good because now we can draw with it. Now, believe it or not, I'm not an artist, but I will try to make something special. By the way, yeah, I'm quite literally drawing with a pipette. <laughs> okay, so now witness my masterpiece. Please don't laugh. Anyway, the second one was much better, I think. It kind of gives a graffiti vibe. Alright guys, so you can see the list of things that I'm working on currently, and you can vote in the comments which one you would like next. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe.